Hey YouTube, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a gear video for you. And today I want to talk about EDC on a budget. And what I mean by that is, you know, we all like to carry a bunch of cool stuff with us and feel like we're kind of ready for whatever life might throw at us. But that can get expensive if you let it. I don't think it has to be expensive though. And so I want to make some recommendations and go through some different things that uh, are going to serve most of your needs in terms of, you know, being useful tools and getting the job done, but are not going to cost a lot of money. The categories I'm going to restrict myself to are light, lighter, pen, knife, and multi-tool. I know we could go into a lot of other areas. We could talk about wallets and cell phones and keychains and all kinds of different EDC items, but those are the ones I'm going to, to kind of narrow down our focus on. The one thing I, there's two questions I want to ask you guys. I'd really like to see this in the comments section. I think it'd be really useful and interesting to me. Uh, number one, guns carry, EDCing a gun and, and having a concealed carry is not a thing in Canada. Uh, there is a permit that allows for, you know, police officers to carry a gun or um, certain occupations, security guard, bring truck, Brinks truck driver, that type of stuff. But for the average citizen, yeah, no EDCing of firearms. Um, so, for those of you who can and do, I'd love to see in the comments below some good, really good, budget-friendly EDC firearms for the person that's, you know, really strapped but is but really wants to, to carry a decent gun around. Uh, that's number one. Number two, I'd love to hear out of these items, okay, I'm going to recommend budget items. Uh, but I would like to hear what is the one item here that you feel like you should really splurge on? You know, maybe you say, okay, look, you know, a $20 knife will do the job and a, and a free pen will do the job, but you just have to spend the extra on a flashlight, okay? Or maybe you feel like you just have to spend the extra on a lighter because you're a huge Zippo guy. Um, Whatever it is for you, I'd love to hear in the comments below that one thing that you spend a little extra on. And now let's go ahead and go through some recommendations for budget-friendly EDC items and uh, that allow you to, to be really ready for anything and have some really capable stuff while not spending a lot of cash. Uh, move this out of the way and let's start with flashlights. I've got a couple here. Uh, these are not all the ones out there. Wait a second, I should have one more, yeah. There we go, let's bring in this guy as well. Not exactly EDC, but it, it is reasonably budget friendly. Uh, so, flashlights are where we're gonna start off. Now, by the way, these are not the most budget friendly lights. If you go on Amazon, there are lights for like $3. The problem that I've had with those really cheap lights is reliability. And I've had some good ones, don't get me wrong, but uh, one occasion I ordered five. I was thinking I would give them away as gifts or like put them and use them as stocking stuffers. And only three of them actually worked the way they were supposed to. Uh, so there is that, that risk. And if you're gonna go, you know, the Amazon route and buy the, uh, they have some, some decent little AA lights. Uh, I would recommend buy three, four, you know, they're usually only, three or three dollars or something like that anyway, but buy a few because you wanna make sure you're gonna get ones that actually work. These are a little bit of a step up from that. I think most of these are gear best items. Uh, this one was from Going Gear, um, but I'm sure, uh, you know, a lot of websites are gonna carry it. So let's go ahead and quickly go through these. Uh, this is the UltraTac K18, really, really bright little light. Uh, takes a double A battery, so even the battery itself is not too expensive. Um, I do find this one has a tendency to turn on when I don't want it to. So my solution to that is simply to take this one twist open. Whoops, sorry. And now I have no issue with it. Uh, but yeah, this has been a bit of a challenge for me. Um, anyway, otherwise, now with that little solution in place, I carry this light a lot. I really, really like it. I've had it for a long time. Uh, this is the JetBeam Jet 2, or I guess, yeah, Jet 2 MK. I have no idea what all the letters mean. Uh, but this is a, a CR123 light. Sorry, bumped the camera. There we go. Uh, this is a CR123 light. Goes up to about 500 lumens. Really, really nice and great size to carry around. And I think these things can be had on GearBest for... Um, you know, around 20 bucks, pretty affordable and very, very capable. This is a huge step up from this, guys. Uh, and about, of, out of all of these, this is the one I recommend the most. There is the extra cost of the CR123 batteries, but 
Uh, recently I picked up a whole bunch of those. I think on Amazon you could buy like a 12 battery pack. Uh, and I got the good batteries too, like Olay batteries. And it was only like 10 bucks or something. So um, even though it's a little more costly, it's not that, that bad. Um, so yeah, that's the Jetbeam Jet2 MK. Uh, this guy is the Zanflare. Uh, and it is, uh, you know, a Gearbest, uh, how would you say this? Uh, this is their own in-house brand, and this is actually a really good light. You know, they've, they've had some advertisements for it recently that I've seen that make all kinds of claims about it, and, you know, I've got to say it's actually pretty true, the things they say. One nice thing about this light, uh, it's, of course, uh, 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 come on, 18650. Sorry, guys, I couldn't think of that. Uh, 18650, but if you unscrew this little... Uh, cap here it can be charged with a micro USB which is really handy and it does come with a micro USB that you can use for that purpose uh, finally uh, this is again I think on the cheaper end of the scale but still a pretty good light this is the U torch again from uh, again from Gearbest and I will put a, a link with a uh, discount code for this light uh, I haven't reviewed it yet, but I will in the next few weeks. Again, really good light, nice and affordable, plus it's going to take AA batteries, so you're going to have no issue with finding batteries for it. It doesn't get into the whole uh, rechargeable or difficult to replace batteries, and I do like that um, in in my light. I've kind of, I don't know, transitioned, and now I do have a couple of different lights with different batteries, but I do try to restrict it. Anyway, U-Torch, nice little light. Uh, multiple brightness settings. There's super low, there's medium, and there's high. Uh, really nice little light and uh, very, again, affordable. Moving on. So that was the light. What about lighters? I'm not going to have a whole lot to say about lighters other than to say, you know, uh, Dollarama, okay, or whatever it is, Dollar Tree or Dollar General, whatever you have in your area. Um, I have found this. Not all the lighters in those places are the best. Uh, so what I did was bought one of each. They're only a, they're like 85 cents or a dollar. I think the most expensive one was maybe a dollar 85. Uh, bought one of each, took them out in really cold conditions. And here's the reason I bought them all. Not all of them will work in really, really cold, really difficult, you know, damp environments. So buy them all, took them out, tested them all outside. And these X lights, uh, which are available at Dollar Amazon stores in Canada, uh, performed the best. I got I got the most consistency and the most reliability out of these. I also, you know, if I'm going to go out camping or anything like that, guess what? I'm going to have some matches as well because they're extremely reliable. Uh, but not these. I don't carry this around in my pocket, right? This is much easier to carry in your pocket. Uh, this I would have in my backpack or whatever. Uh, first aid kit, safety kit, that type of thing. Um, yeah, so go pick up a few lights. I mean, a few lighters. Find the one that works the best. Okay, and and really, lighters are not expensive. Uh, out of all the things on this list, they're the easiest ones to get a hold of. What about pens? Here are a few different options. Not all of these are budget. This one is just kind of standing in for tactical pens. Uh, my favorite out of all of these are these guys right here. This is the Zebra 701, I think. Let's see here. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, I got it backwards. F701, there you go, hard to spot there. Uh, I like these the best because they're a little slimmer. Uh, this one, what I don't like, uh, this is the 402, and I still like it, but I don't like it as much because I find the, the grip portion pushes my fingers back a little bit, and I like to write with my fingers right down close to the tip of the pen. Uh, this, I find, pushes me back just a little bit further, uh, so I go with this one. Uh, both are good lights. I mean, both are good pens. The other advantage of this one is it could serve dual function as uh, sort of a, a persuasion weapon or a, or a defensive weapon in a last ditch situation. Uh, in terms of tactical pens, uh, the cheapest ones are, there's the Uzi tactical pens, uh, and then the, the ones that I favor are the Charade or Smith & Wesson tactical pens, and they're very, very, very budget friendly. This is the CRKT James Williams pen. I can't remember the actual model number, but a decent pen. 
I don't like the thickness of the tip. I prefer really, really fine pen tips. Now remember, the theme of this is budget. And so right there, we have the most budget pen you could find. This was free. And you guys know, if you go to any kind of like trade show or anything where there's advertising of, of any kind, you're gonna find lots of free pens. So a uh, really, really easy option to, to pick up for just about anybody. Next on the list is my favorite one. And now we're gonna talk about knives. So, let's see here. Uh, there are lots of great budget-friendly knives. Uh, probably one of the best is going to be the Rat Model 1 right there. Uh, run you about 35 bucks. I think right now on KnifeWorks.com, the D2 version is $36. So very affordable, highly recommended Rat Model 1. If that's not for you, there are tons of other options. This is the Rake. P105, great knife, very affordable. Uh, this is giving you, you know, a ball bearing flipper and 14C28 and blade steel, which is pretty nice. Now, this is standing here for traditionals. I don't have a lot of traditional knives, but, um, you know, these guys can be had for a very affordable price. There's tons of different models out there. So any size, any color, any level of utility that you want. Uh, this can be your option. Now, this is not an EDC option, as you can see. Uh, this is the Champ, so it's like got almost every tool and uh, totally not feasible to carry. But works well for an example in a review such as this. Uh, let's see here. We also have the Real Steel H6, great budget knife, uh, 14C20 and steel again. I do have one other option that I want to bring in, and this is going to be a representative option. This is the Gonzo, whatever one it is, 753, I think. But this is not, I'm bringing this in because it's kind of standing in for, you know, the guy, the person who goes on eBay and finds the Enlin, Senren Mu, uh, Gonzo, knives like that that are just ridiculously cheap, you know, $12, $15. Uh, and for those $12 or $15, you're actually getting a pretty decent blade. One other thing to mention when it comes to knives, let's talk a little bit about budget knives. There's the Charade SCHF uh, 55. Uh, decent little EDC fixed blade. Better than this is the Rake fixed blade. This is awesome. I haven't done a review on it yet, but you can expect a very positive review on the Rake Knives F815B. Uh, really lightweight, really comfortable, really useful, and the sheath is exceptional, uh, not just for the price point. This is a sheath that performs better than, than sheaths that cost a lot more. So a uh, couple of good uh, options, even for an EDC fixed blade on a budget. Last but not least, let's talk about multi-tools. Uh, where's the, there it is. <coughs> now guys, this is one that um, I've got to, I've got to say, uh, try to stick to Leatherman. Okay, Gerber, they're hit or miss. My experience is, especially in their more budget range, they're, they're hit or miss. Uh, I've tried a few of the, the other budget multi-tools, the Gonzos and the, the charades and, and stuff like that, and I just don't find that they hold up. So probably my highest recommended budget multi-tool is gonna be something like the Leatherman Juice or Wave or Sidekick, all of which can be had for around 40 bucks, sometimes even a little less. Uh, even in Canada, I've, I've recently seen uh, some friends post a deal alert, you know, for like $29.99, I think, for a Leatherman Wave, uh, which is a really nice, really useful multi-tool. So, that's all of the recommendations I've got, okay? And, and so, I hope my point is well made, that you can be really, really well set up and be, have everything that you could possibly think of uh, of needing on your person at any given time without spending a huge amount of money, okay? Now, let's have a little bit of fun and ask the question, what if I do want to spend more money? Or what if uh, my job is more demanding and I need something more extensive than, you know, what I can get for uh, between 20 and $30, okay? Well, um, one of the things that I would think about then spending that money on is 
some a flashlight with the little slightly more expensive batteries. So uh, I think it's worth the energy and the effort to have some 18650 batteries or some CR123 batteries. Um, and the, the, the reason I'm, I'm saying this is an added cost is because of the relative rareness of those batteries. I think if you're gonna go that route, you're gonna wanna have a lot. Like I have 15 or 20 CR123 batteries just stored. And that, that's nothing compared to how some people do it, okay? 18650s, same thing. I wanna have enough batteries that I can have an extra for every light that I have. And I probably have one, two, three, four, five. I've got about five lights that take 18650s and one of them takes three 18650s. So that means I've got to have at least nine backup 18650 batteries, okay? So that's a little bit of extra cost. And that's one of the places you might want to put those, those funds that you saved by buying the cheaper knife, the cheaper pen, the cheaper multi-tool, etc. Uh, the other option, of course, would be a, a nicer multi-tool. That gets a lot of the jobs done. This is the Skeletool, tool, and it was just kind of standing in for uh, the Leatherman stuff there. Uh, and, and it's a little more expensive, but the blade steel is 154 cm, and it has some, some pretty nice options that I personally appreciate. So uh, I, was, I was willing to spend just a little bit extra to get something that was more capable. Leatherman Signal, similar idea. Uh, Gerber now has the center drive out. So that may be, you know, because that could eliminate some of the other tools, uh, that might be an option for you. Of course, some of these minis as well could be added. Uh, and there's a bunch of good ones out there. Uh, what about a pen? If you're a guy who's really into tactical pens, you're gonna spend a little bit more. Um, I'm not huge. I've got two or three or four tactical pens uh, that have sort of, you know, if I saw one on sale or something, I might have picked it up. Uh, but I'm not a huge tactical pen guy. I actually find this pen is the one I'm going to carry the most. But certainly a pen is, is something, especially if you use it every day and you feel strongly about it, you could spend about as much as you want. Um, oh, I know what item I forgot. Uh, anyway, you might want to add a watch. That would be another option. And of course, a watch, you can be very budget friendly or not so much. <clears throat> and lastly, the area I really like to talk about is, of course, if you can afford to spend a little more on your EDC knife, uh, you can get a lot for your money, okay? So maybe you say, look, I've saved on every item here. Uh, let's let's splurge a little bit and, and buy, you know, a Griptilian or a Para 2 or, you know, a Benchmade Crooked River or, you know, there are tons of highly, really, really nice uh, Alliance Steel Kerr. There are tons of really nice knives in that, you know, $150, give or take, $20 range that would would really serve you well and, and you'd probably enjoy a great deal uh, and probably get some more utility out of them compared to some of the knives that I've recommended. All right, there you go, guys. I'd love to hear, again, your thoughts below on what you are going to spend the extra money on or what that one item is that, that you don't mind uh, going a little bit above your budget for. Uh, and two, I'd love to hear some thoughts on the best EDC firearms, especially budget firearms, okay? For the guy who who's trying to, to be, you know, uh, to be under three or four hundred dollars. Uh, that would be great to hear some recommendations along those lines. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.